Brand new surveillance video, 18 cameras rolling at the customs checkpoint where and when the U.S. Marine was arrested on March 31st. An emergency. My problem is uh, I, I crossed the border by accident and I have uh, three guns in my truck. So you're in Mexico? Yeah. There's I, something I, I can I, help you with then. Did you ever intend to drive into Mexico? No, I told him, I said, uh, I have all my stuff back here, plus I have three guns, but I didn't mean to be in Mexico. It was an accident. Her military officer come, found me as guilty from the beginning, made me sign paperwork that I was in, all in Spanish. And it was like a math equation in his head. Three guns, man equals uh, prison. So what could the surveillance video show and how could it help free our Marines? Sergeant Tamarisi's lawyer, Fernando Benitez, joins us from Tijuana. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. Thank you for having me. Nice to have you. Well, those tapes will either help or hurt Sergeant Tamarisi, as I think it will either corroborate uh, his statements or it will, will, will help the uh, Mexican authorities. Have you seen the tapes or do you know what it shows? Well, uh, these are strictly video footage. They do not include audio from the scene. There are 18 cameras. We, we, the defense initially asked for each and every camera uh, that was deployed at the customs checkpoint. Uh, however, we suspect that uh, Andrew's image will appear only on some of them. And uh, we might, of course, get uh, redundant footage from different angles. But uh, basically, what we intend to prove, uh, first and foremost, is his prolonged detention at the border inspection station, at the secondary inspection area, for what amounted to almost eight hours. That's, that's the main purpose of viewing the tapes. Right. Is the, have you heard from the prosecutor or from any witness in the case that he was acting in a way uh, at the border, which, which suggests that he's trying to hide something or he was obnoxious or trying to avoid detention? Or do you hear the flip side that he was cooperative and said the guns were in the car? What are you hearing might be shown on the tape and what are you hearing from people who were there? Well, uh, the initial written report by the customs officers is pretty abstract. It does not lend itself to that interpretation. It only says uh, what Andrew's arrival time was and the step-by-step -step procedure for uh, reviewing and inspection of the vehicle. Uh, however, when the officers were questioned uh, at several past hearings, uh, they insisted that communication with Andrew was forthright, forth, forthright and forthcoming, uh, rather, and uh, they insist that they spoke in English, which I have serious doubts to that. Uh, Andrew has always said that they were speaking in Spanish and that only at the end of his incursion in that secondary inspection area was he made available some summary translation of what was happening. But he wasn't um, uh, involved in the conversation as it took place because he couldn't because uh, of the language barrier. Right. So I think a lot gets lost in translation. Uh, picture tells a thousand words. We'll hope to see if this footage corroborates his version. I believe it will. And the most important aspect that it will corroborate was his uh, detention of seven and a half hours. Uh, is, is there, uh, have they changed the signs or cleaned them up at that exit or changed anything so others are less likely to make a mistake? Yes, they have. It, it, immediately following Andrew's arrest, uh, bigger and more visible signs were placed. And uh, I believe, if, if anything else, this case has served the purpose of making people aware <laughs> that there's a possibility of accidentally driving into the customs inspection area. Am, am I correct in that the Mexican law is to violate the Mexican law, you have to intend to bring the guns into the country against the law so that an accidental driving into the country, into Mexico, would not be a violation? You actually have to have, to have the intent? That's exactly right, Greta. Uh, under Mexican law, uh, this particular offense requires criminal intent. Uh, whereby to to argue the contrary point uh this is not an offense that could be committed accidentally or negligently so uh prosecutor needs to prove criminal intent and uh direct uh will 
to commit the, cl the crime uh, on the part of the defendant. That has not happened yet. So we believe that once the trial is over, we will, of course, prevail and Andrew will be acquitted. Fernando, thank you. And the court hearing, next court hearing is Tuesday. So thank you very much, Fernando. Thank you.